Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack, and welcome back to Hurdy Gurdy. We are actually going to enter in the Ancient Temple. This is actually probably one of my more favorite levels of this game, which is weird because it's in the second half of the game, uh, the part of the game that I despise. <laughs> um, I kind of forgot about that this level was in the second half. I thought it was earlier, but uh, it wasn't. Um, so anyway, this is just a huge labyrinth that you need to collect as many bells as you can to progress. And there are about, uh, I want to say like three sections of it, or three that I think that we should talk about, because we are in the first section and then we have to open up our way to the second part, which is like this hallway that leads into a statue, and then the third one that leads past the statue. So. Um, we will get there. Don't you worry. This is a long level, especially if you're like me and you get hit by the Gromps every five fucking seconds. <laughs> but yeah, there's not really much to worry about though. Um, most of the Gromps and Grimps don't really do anything to the other creatures as, as long as uh, you take them out first. Duh, right? that would make sense. But they're not in a position in which you have to worry. For instance, these honks won't be attacked by any gromps or any grimps of any kind because they're separated from them. Whereas uh, we'll be seeing bleeps later. Bleeps are in the same room as the gromps and grimps. However, the gromps and grimps cannot reach them due to them being on a different height level. So as long as you don't do anything with the bleeps, you're, you're going to be fine. Um, this whole level focuses more on puzzles and trying to figure out how to uh, maneuver the I almost said gritters again <laughs> the grimps around and uh, stop them from eating anything potentially so for this puzzle I, I pushed uh, that block the one that's on the right first and then you can actually move the top block in most directions. I believe every direction now that I think about it. Because you can push it up. No, you cannot push it up. You can push it the other way. So, since you can't push up, you gotta push it the other way. Um, to the bottom left hand corner. That one can go straight and in the left. The middle block. Yep. Right in there, into that hole. Okay. And now, uh, this block right here, this was the middle block that goes in the bottom left. Uh, I'm talking about like when you enter the room, by the way, not like how it is now. And that's because this block, uh, I believe that was the left block, cannot be pushed to the right or to the back. So the only position it can go into is the top left corner of the puzzle. So keep that in mind when you're pushing these blocks around. These blocks will open up, uh, I believe, the other honks in the room. If you can see on your map, there's a few more honks. That's all that it opens. There we go. And now we're going to push it back into the final slot. Okay, or not. There we go. And now we unlocked those doors, which contain the secret honks and honk links. Sorry, just yawning. <laughs> <clears throat> I woke up like an hour ago to record, and then like I was going to, and then my landlord decided now was a great time to cut the grass. So yay. Okay, so here are a bunch of blurps. And what you can do is scare them using the horn and kicking them down. However, you don't really need the, the burp, burps, blurps uh, too much because this gromp won't do anything <laughs> to you. Trust me, he, he'll be fine. Uh, you can trap them by pushing this block out of the way, however. So we just push that block out of the way. Uh, he won't do anything because you could just run and jump over there. I mean, that's all you gotta do. But 
I mean, I guess it's useful having the blur poison him so that you can trap him and then make this jump. Make sure to collect 20 bells uh, littered around here so you can get all the haunts. You need about 60%, I believe, if I remember the look of the map. Uh, funny enough, falling behind here <laughs> brings me to where I wanted to be anyway. So that's good. And now we can uh, open up the way. That brings us back to the top. Because there are some stairs over there. That's what this room was used for. So if you jump over here. Jump up here. Collect as many pulls as you can. And then we're going to make some uh, tight jumping. Alright, here we go. And I failed. Awesome. So we're going to have to redo that. <laughs> yeah, you're going to fail this jump a lot. Um, I don't blame the jumping controls. I think it's just more so um, I had a hard time judging the, the distance myself. Like it, It's like a weird camera angle because it looks farther to me than I think it is but it's... Oh shoot. Oh, here comes the camera glitches. Yay! Alright, there we go. <laughs> um, it, it, it looks farther... Here's my attempt that I actually did it. Uh, by the way. It looks farther away than what it really is. It's actually a much closer, so you have to like tap the button and then like let go of the stick midway. It's it's weird. <laughs> it's a weird jump to make. But anyway, once you get it, you're gonna uh, come back. And now that the hawks are saved, we can uh, try figure out a way to hit that button. Well, we need 20 bells, right? So maybe I missed some bells behind us. So let's go check. Mm, it doesn't seem like it. I definitely didn't miss any bells along the way. Oh, except for that one. I missed that one. So that means I missed some bells. So here's another one. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Perfect. <laughs> And see, this is what I mean by, um, it, like, the hammer kind of just ruins shit. Because it's like, why do I have to look for these bells in order to progress? Why why can't... Like, if you want that, fine. But don't make it... Like, fine, 20 is not that big a deal. But, you know, if it comes to having to collect everything, and I need to collect all the bells to capture every creature, that just seems annoying, you know? And it's like, this is just one of the, the small things that kind of bugs me. But, like, even later on, like, you can't progress unless you have, I think, like, 50 or 60 bells. Because there's a door that's locked that Gertie can't get through. Like, why can't I just do a puzzle? Like I did with the, the switches just there, you know? It doesn't even have to be a block-pushing puzzle. It could be anything. Like, you could just step on a switch. You know, like, the, the hammer could have actually just hit regular switches that you had to do like a puzzle to, to get to or you had to jump to get to you know it's a platformer so why not just do something like that why does it have to be why does it have to be collect bells that a give you optional content so it's like i already have the incentive to get the bells it's not like i i need more incentive to to collect bells the incentive is i want the secret content <laughs> yeah I don't know, man. It was just... I feel like the hammer was poorly designed, and it kind of, like, it ruined a majority of this game for me. So, uh, once you bring the honks down, there is actually a little pen for them right around here. This hole is where you want to go, but their pen is behind... Uh, well, not behind, but there's, there's, like, another entrance over here on this side. I remember we gotta collect all the bells that we can so that we can progress through the game, so might as well do everything we can. So here we go. And that is 16 creatures down. Perfect. We are already like 40% done. <laughs> like 30% done. So The length of this level isn't how many creatures are, it's genuinely just how big this open area is. Uh, when running through here, I, oh wait, it's not the area, never mind. I was gonna say, when running through here, watch your jump because you will fall into a hole, but I was thinking of something different. So now we're going into the second area, 
Uh, but first, I would like to push this block so that I can get these bells up here and see a, I believe that's a 50 switch. So we need 10 more bells to unlock something. Instead of just doing a puzzle, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so here are a few more bells. We got 44. 45, 46. Perfect. And then 8, 9. Oh, sorry. 8, 9, 10. There we go. Perfect. So now we're going to have to run back up and hit that switch. But you see, like, you see what I mean? Like, the, these collecting the bells to unlock switches is kind of annoying. Like, why couldn't, like, right here have, like, a puzzle? You know? Maybe, like, push a button. Like, have three and, like, guess a combination. You know? Or, like, have a hidden combination somewhere that you would find. I don't know. It just It's just annoying that you have to do something optional to... To collect things that are optional in order to progress so they don't longer become optional. I don't know, maybe I'm just complaining about something that doesn't need to be complained about, but it, I don't know, it kind of irks me that that it's done this way. Anyway, so we're going to unlock the area, the second area of the level is right over here. There's a room with, I believe, three grumps in it? Or two grumps, it looks like. And another room with a bunch of grumps. I don't know why I keep pushing this. I, I'm, I, I don't know why I kept doing that. I think I was just trying to jump, and for some reason I just kept pushing the bell. Ah, yes. The gromp behind the fence. I remember you. Yeah, so don't get hit by the grumps. They launch you all the way back. Sometimes, like, a few rooms behind, it's really annoying. So we gotta lure the Gromp into the pen, which is simple enough. Meanwhile, we can collect all these bells. Since we're right here, we're gonna need to anyway, right? I collect like 80 of them. Here is the statue I was talking about. In order to progress through this room, we got to push that block in, and uh, the camera won't let me do that. Okay, Jesus. Uh, perfect. So that block we gotta push in, I wanna just double check if we have to do anything else. Doesn't seem like it. This room is big. Oh, I saw something shiny, what was that? Nothing? Okay. Maybe that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Alrighty, well. Uh, we could just go push the block in now, Grady. Let's let go. Perfect. So, we're going to push this block all the way in. Until we don't feel like we need to anymore. And then we have another block. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just push this block in. See what I mean? Like you could have done this. You could have had like hidden passageways, and then like one could have been a dead end or something. Yeah, you know, just something different. That's not collecting bells in order to progress. I don't know. Well, we unlocked a switch, and we can actually make this jump. But I was being kind of dumb, so we're just gonna wait until uh, I actually left, <laughs> ran around a little bit, and I was like, "How do I get up here?" But yeah, you could just make that jump. I was, I just didn't do it right. Um, you jump higher standing skill, still than you do running. So keep that in mind if you want to make higher jumps. You just uh, stand still to jump. And then I was like, all right, so what do I do now? I push this block down. And then I kind of realized, oh, wait, there's a switch up there. So we're going to uh, use this block to make that jump. It's pretty simple. I don't know. But, you know, simple puzzles aren't bad. But see, this is what I mean, though. It's like, find a hidden passage, you know? Maybe one's a dead end. It's like, have three ways or something. Have one's a dead end. Have another one that leads to a pile of bells. You know, for the optional stuff, right? And then have the right way. And then that right way leads you into this, in which you have to figure out that you need to jump up here in order to get a switch. You know. So here's a statue of Yggdrasil. And then you're gonna miss the switch entirely. <laughs> and there we go. We opened up the way to the third area. I believe the third area is the last area. It's a large, big 
area. Oh, this is the part I was telling you about. Yeah, you fall down here, you get you get thrown back into the first area. So just make sure you don't fall into the first hole and then the second hole. I had a hard time seeing them for some reason. I thought they were like just regular floors. <laughs> yeah, so we're in the third area. We're in the area with the giant structure. And here are the bleeps that I was telling you guys about. Uh, like I said, don't do anything with the bleeps right now. Uh, it's better that you don't move them. Because if you move them, you're going to be putting them in harm's way. I actually might save. Yeah, I'm going to save. This is a large area. Um, I can understand if you want to just put the game down midway. Um, I think this was like maybe 30 minutes in to my original footage. I, I like I remember I had I was playing this level for like 50 something minutes. Uh, I cut a lot of it out just because you didn't want I didn't want you guys to just see me aimlessly run around being confused. <laughs> Uh, like all the other levels But yeah, so we are going to make sure we take out the grimps um, Just be careful with the grimps uh, and not in the sense that they will harm you because as long as you're playing the flute You're fine, right? But in the sense that um, Be careful that they don't get stuck because they have a tendency to get uh, caught on piles of nothing <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just want to make sure I can get down here without having to fall and you have a way back up with the ladder That's useful Here are some bells you See what I mean? Like now I gotta actually look for them instead of just being like, oh cool bells And then I can get some secret content if I collect all of them, you know that No, it's like, oh, I need these to progress. That's kind of annoying This <laughs> I feel like it just took the fun out of it, you know And it's not like I wasn't going for them. I think I collected like one or two bells by this point um, some of them were off-screen just because th there is no point in showing you because I wasn't gonna collect them all anyway uh, but See what I mean like they got caught they just on uh, nothing. <laughs> I, I don't know why they're caught But uh, okay Up oh, and I only have three following me so that means I lost a few of them <laughs> Unless I unless it was counting those two and I was just being dumb. But yeah, see but now they're all caught yay <laughs> So you're supposed to drop them down, right? But they all got stuck. So they didn't. And now I'm just aimlessly playing a flute. <laughs> so we're gonna have to run back up and make sure we um, unstick them. <laughs> the way I found best to do that is to um, actually get attacked by them. Because sometimes, if uh, not that they will launch you farther away, but they'll just... Uh, from my experience, they sent me back to the top of the structure, which is fine. Um, it's not like it's sending me halfway throughout the fucking level having me run all the way back or anything. Uh, but, what was I saying? Oh, right. But the, um, for some reason, when, 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 when I got attacked, they got unstuck in their little corner of death. <laughs> Like, they just, they can't move past a certain area. It's weird. So, uh, I just decided that maybe getting them all stuck would work? No? Alright, cool. But what I decided was just to stop playing the flute and see what happens if I get attacked. Um, because if they didn't get unstuck, I just soft lock my game. Again, because I'm not sure if I have enough with the bleeps to progress. I think I do. Because there's some grimps on the bottom. Uh, but, like, that's another potential way to soft lock your game. <laughs> but yeah, see, they're like trying to kill me, but they can't because they're stuck in a little corner. It looks like they're stuck in water. It looks like they fell into like a little puddle of water. Uh, and they just like couldn't get out. So I guess don't send the grips into water. I don't know. It's, that's the lesson to be learned. So the horn doesn't seem to work on the Grimps either. I think they just get more pissed off. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, but I'm waiting for me to figure out that I can just not. <laughs> I'm like, oh, maybe if I move slowly, they'll figure it out. And I was just like, whatever, let me see if I get attacked. What happens if I get attacked? Well, if you get attacked, they're fine. Oh, hey, wait, I didn't realize this until now. They didn't actually, uh... 
send me to the top. They 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 uh, sent me to where they right they were. That's weird. Normally they they send me to the top of the structure. Maybe that's like the bottom grips. I guess. I don't know. I'm thinking it's the bottom grips now. Anyway, if we bring the remaining five, oh, to the, yeah, five uh, grimps to this place, to their pen right here, that is one less group of enemies to deal with uh, when bringing the bleeps down. Remember, we're going to have to bring the bleeps down here. Uh, I mean, personally, I just like jumping off the edge. Oh my god, you got stuck on the fucking corner? Dude. It's... Okay, so maybe it's not just the bleeps. Um, I'm thinking the collision in this game is slightly off. It's weird because sometimes you just get stuck on things. Like, they were following me just fine until they weren't. <laughs> Alright, so uh, now that we have this area freed up, we could just make sure I didn't miss any bells. I don't think I did. I might have. Doesn't seem like I did. Uh, well, doesn't look like I did. Cool. So if we head down, I uh, just want to double check to make sure I didn't miss any bells up here, because now I'm looking for them actively to make sure that I have enough to progress through the level. Uh, but now there are uh, one Gromp, I believe. There's only one Gromp, and then there's the nine Grimps down here. Uh, these Grimps shouldn't be too big a deal. Uh, honestly, as long as you take them bit by bit, if you know what I mean, like you just kind of lure them a little bit. Uh, I think the Grimps have a better, um, like, sight than the Gromps do. I don't think I even attracted the, uh, the Gromps at all. Uh when trying to capture these Grimps. I was just like, you know, I don't want to chance that because I move slower than the Gromp does when using the flute. So I'm going to grab these guys real quick. Avoid being launched up into the, the Nether Realm. <laughs> uh, having to make my way back here, that's kind of annoying. So, let's see if I can lure this other Grimp. But you see what I mean? Like, I'm not really near the Gromp and the Grimps, like, just started following me because they hate me or something. These little black tonkies just really enjoy the scent of Gertie, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we have two more to do, and they're like right over here on the side, so that's not even that big a deal. It's not even near the ground. So, perfect. And with that, we collected all the Grimps. Now, I don't know how to capture uh, this Gromp and the other Gromp. So there are two Gromps here, and I am unaware of how to capture them. Uh, there is a stand right here, and that is a thing that holds a Gromp trap. Now, the Gromp trap, uh, I believe you have to hit a switch. You have to get a few amount of bells in order to, to to unlock that but I have no way of knowing how to do that because I never picked it up but as you can see we're at the end of the level if I wanted to I could just end the level right here but let's try and save those bleeps anyway um, let's see how many I can pick up uh, there is another pen for the other grub but I also do not know how to get it up there also, it was weird because I thought I had it set so that I could push it straight, but Gertie wasn't pushing it straight. Um, that was weird, and I wasted too much time because now the Gromp is awake, and he is hungry for punches. <laughs> so yeah, he sent me all the way up top. <laughs> uh, so back down here, next to the Gromp, here are some more bells. We're going to collect 80 of them, but nope, we need 100 to collect every Gromp, it seems like. Here is that other Gromp pen, but I don't actually know how to get the Gromp in here um, to make it useful. As you see, that 
the statue is right there. It's blocking me. <laughs> so I was trying to figure it out. I was like, do I just lure him into that and it like captures him or something? Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> no, it's a switch. We're going to see those in a different level uh, later on too. I don't remember if you have to capture all the bells to unlock that one or if it's just like a certain amount. I don't quite remember. But this grump was pissing me off so I just decided, fuck it, you know what? Let me just walk around, make sure I can uh, <laughs> didn't miss anything real quick. Oh, there's a thing up there. So let me climb up this, this ladder. See what's up here. And uh Something I didn't learn about, because I knew you could kick the blurps because I was doing it just there, right? But something I didn't know about is you can uh, make any blurp do that by just blowing the horn. But I didn't learn that until literally the last fucking, like, level of this entire game. Uh, it's called the Tournament Island. I, I was on the Tournament Island, and I was just like, how the fuck do I progress through this? And then I realized by ax excuse me, by accident, that you can blow your horn and scare them so that you can kick the thing. And that's like how you're supposed to finish the puzzle. But I wasn't sure. I... Moly did mention that you can scare some enemies. Oh, okay, here's the 90th one that I found just lurking around. This is a lot of the time I cut out, by the way. It was just me aimlessly running around trying to figure out where all the bells were. Uh, I eventually just kind of gave up. was like, fuck it, let's just save the bleeps. Call it a day. Oh, yeah, but then here's this guy. doing my quiz for some great prizes no okay coming up are three special questions all right what are you them all to win. what are your questions let's go my first question is coming up ready what color is a nasty grub oh okay, they're pink so uh just a quick question Let's see. another quick question, question quick story number two I, uh, How many little <laughs> can you this is, in a this is the second time I got these three questions and I dead ass answered them all the same way. What color is Sarah's dress? It's purple. I answered purple. I answered pink, uh, for the ground thing. And I answered the same amount, uh, for the dupes. I think it was 15. Bye. I got it right this time. But my first two times, I got them wrong. But I got the same questions. So why were, why was I answering the right questions? By the way, I hate that guy, uh, the quiz dude. We're going to be seeing him later. Uh, but like, why was I answering the questions right and getting them wrong? It, it's weird. Don't fall down the, the hole again. I got confused. <laughs> I got sent all the way back. So then I was just like, fuck it. I found 97 bells. I can't find the last two because there's one that I, I did find. I just couldn't get it because I pushed the block and I didn't want to deal with the grump. Uh, that guy just fell. Fucking out of nowhere, it seems like. But it's fine because most of the grumps won't attack him anyway. See that guy? Just, just, uh, just get the fuck out of here. There we go. <laughs> um... But yeah, the Gramps won't actually do anything to the bleeps as long as you're fast enough. I was trying to save the, uh, I was trying to pen the Gramps so that I could move the, the, the bleeps perfectly fine, but it didn't seem like it mattered. <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna fall down here, lure the bleeps. I said lure the bleeps. Some of them got stuck, didn't they? Son of a bitch. <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> I like the bleeps, they're funny. I like that the uh, the creatures actually say their names, like the honks go honk, the bleeps bleep, the dupes dupe. I, I couldn't, I, I didn't, I wasn't, I'm not sure if the gromps gromp or if the, uh, if the gromps gromp or if the, um, the grimps grimp, but <laughs> it's funny that <laughs> the bleeps bleep, the dupes dupe. <laughs> Honks, honk. Like, it's funny. Oh, I think I just saw one, actually. Just one of the bells. It was over there. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, Alright, whatever. Uh, the cool thing about the bleeps is that they can endlessly fall as long as they don't land in water. 
<laughs> Which is funny because the hawks can endlessly fall as long as there is water, so... <laughs> That's weird. But, uh... And the dupes uh, can fall a certain amount of height before they die. Uh, I think we'll see that happen, actually. I think I accidentally launched a dupe into... Uh, Oh, is there a bell up there? So, okay, so that's one bell. I think the other one was up there that I, I wouldn't when falling. I think I saw it. And then I, I know where the other one is. So I guess I did find all 100, but I just didn't want to collect them anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Grump. He actually uh, did me a huge favor. I didn't want to climb up. I wanted to see if he would launch me back up here. <laughs> so uh, we're going to just grab these stuck bleeps. Okay, can you guys, like, what? Guys. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to fall. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, well, let's hope that uh, they fall. Oh, one of them got stuck. God damn it. Oh, so uh, I saw something really funny in this level. If you fall from a high enough height, Gertie does a front flip, right? Like, every time you, you jump forward, he does a front flip. But if you fall from a far enough height, he actually goes back into standing position. Like the position he does when just idling, like standing normally. He does that position. Uh, I gave up on the bleeps. <laughs> they got stuck. We're going to go to Pirate Cove. But yeah, if you fall from a high enough position, he just stands. It's funny. Anyway, I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye.